Looking right here at our site, this is where the hotel and the condominium building will be built. We're looking at about 18 months out, so about a, a year and a half. The hotel will be 10 stories high. It's going to be a nice hotel uh, by Hilton, but it's called the Crowns or the Canopy. I've never heard of them before, but this is supposed to be more of an upscale type of hotel, more like the W. Lots of different services, so it's pretty rich with amenities for any residents who live in the condominium. The condominium itself will start on the 11th floor and go up 10 stories from there. It's going to be, the condos will be all glass, as you can see in this picture right here. So you've got the hotel and then the condominiums. From the 11th story up, you're going to have beautiful views of everything in the neighborhood. Um, you have a lot of different restaurants at your fingertips right here. Walk across There's the street to the fancy uh, IPIC uh, theater and have a drink like this guy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There'll be 110 condos total and they range from junior one bedrooms starting at about 600 square feet to penthouses that are going to be up to 2,400 square feet and then everything kind of in between. Typical two bedrooms will be about 1,000 to 1,200 square feet. Uh, great finishes, what you're kind of used to here in the Bethesda, North Rockville area. Um, sales are handled by McGuinness Ballard. We have a sales office on site where we are doing contract appointments. Um, you come in, you put down a 5% deposit, you write a contract, and you wait a year and a half for the building to be finished. And uh, we'd love to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, what call me first before we go over there and we'll go over all the details. But it's going to be a great spot. The value-wise and compared to downtown Bethesda, obviously that has a, the mystique and the uh, high, but it also has the high price. So mm. you're getting what I was guessing was going to be around 750000 for the two-bedroom, two-bath. Kind of the in-between, I was calling what would be downtown Rockville, Crown, uh, Rockville Town Center and downtown Bethesda Row. But you're getting kind of the same stuff. It's popping up so if you're looking to kind of get ahead of the curve, as Wayne Gretzky said, kind of skate to where the puck's going, not where it already is, uh, this is kind of the spot. It's, uh, there's, there's not a better movie theater in uh, Bethesda Row, so you're getting a little bit better value point at, at this point in time, and then with White Flint being eventually developed into another town center, yeah. price points will probably be even a little bit higher. And, and this, is, this is unique because there's nothing like this even in Bethesda downtown Bethesda, this is the rebrand of North Bethesda, right. uh, that has condos starting on the 11th floor. So, And also, just to keep in mind, uh, what I was told are the two bedrooms are starting in the mid-500s. Right. So, right. I mean, that's a really good price. I'm used to selling condos in downtown D.C. Uh, these prices are really good comparatively. Yeah, and, and if we look at comparable in terms of where we are for those, right up there where my finger's pointing, I'm touching... Um, Midtown Condos, which is on Bow Avenue, and there's the Starbucks and Barnes and Nobles. Over here, in between the buildings, that's a Sterling. On the other side of that is the Gallery of White Flint, and then it is uh, uh, the um, White Flint Station Condos. And then back that direction, you have a few others. You have where the Whole Foods is, and you have uh, the Wisconsin, uh, and... Uh, heading back down that way towards downtown Bethesda but anyway this is the redevelopment area so uh, definitely as he was saying a good value price point uh, the two bedrooms and two baths and the other condos right around here are in the low 500s but these are going to be brand new and it's going to be unique and you'll be able to kind of tap off of the uh, the luxury of the hotel and the amenities of the hotel which you can't do in any other building right plus buying at this time at this sort of young stage of this town it's going to keep building and building up around you so just uh, equity wise I can imagine that just the values are just going to continue to go up and up so. yeah usually less risk when you're in early and and this is still early they're still they're still building uh, Vegas out so to speak here <laughs> where, where everything's happening so anyway appreciate it Kurt thank you, thank you.